Hey, what's going on guys? So as some of you may know, this shelf here behind me is basically kind of my to-do list of things that I'm either working on or I have plans to work on in the very near future, reviews and things for you guys. So there's one thing that's been on the shelf for quite a long time that I've really wanted to build and finally I need to get around to building it and that is right here, the Minimum Factory Hisone and Masotan set here from uh, Dragon Pilot. Yes, uh, I'm not really too familiar with it, but it looks a really cool set. I have built and reviewed a couple of different uh, Minimum Factory kits before. This is in the Minimum Factory line 120 scale little plastic model kits here from Max Factory, but this one in particular looks very cool, very fun. And I love the way that it looks, so I really wanted to build this one, and I'm finally going to do it here and share that with you guys, so definitely check it out. If you've never checked out the Minimum Factory line in general, definitely check them out. They can be a little bit pricey, I guess, for what you get is like a little 120 scale figure. They're usually like around $30 or something like that. It might seem a little bit expensive, but compared to like 120 scale resin kits, uh, they're definitely cheaper than that, so I think they're definitely a good route to go if you want to check out, uh, try building some 120 scale character figures and things like that. It's a cool line to do that. And plastic, I'm sure, is a lot more comfortable for a lot of you guys if you don't normally work with resin very often. It might be something that you'd be more interested in checking out. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the Hisone and Masotan set. And as we get into it, guys, I'll just remind you too that we do carry Max Factory, uh, Plamax Minimum Factory kits there at USA Gundam Store. So as always, the link will be down in the video description down there, as well as my coupon code there for you guys to use that as well too. If you're interested in checking out any of these kits or anything else, go ahead and check out the link down there. So right here on the front of the box art, just some wonderful box art here. I love the box for this. It looks so cute, playful there with the character illustrations. Around here on this side, you got basically kind of the same thing there. Minimum Factory 120 scale Hisone to Masotan there. On the bottom of the box, you got some information over here in Japanese and in English there, so that's nice if you want to check that out. Just a little bit of background about the story. And here's what you can see uh, the actual kits are going to look like. So you got the dragon with the kind of airplane kind of armor on there and then the girl figure included as well, which will be pretty simple. Most of the kit is gonna be the actual dragon there. Going around here onto the other side, you can see this about uh, Hisone there. Again, like I said, it's just gonna be a very simple actual character figure in this set. And then here, the F-15J Masotan dragon that transforms into an F-15 fighter plane, very cool. I believe the list price for this one was a little bit more expensive than your standard uh, minimum factory kits are usually around $30, but I think this one was around uh, 50 or 60 obviously because it's got a lot more in there than your standard one. So as far as the character figure, that's all we've got there. And the rest of this is all parts for the dragon, like I said. So we'll take a look at all the runners here in just a moment. Let me go ahead and set those aside. Take a look at the instruction manual first. Now with other minimum factory kits, I know the instruction manual is in like a vertical format or, or something, or like it unfolds into like a poster. Unfortunately, it looks like we've got no poster with this one. It's just the regular instruction manual. So you've got the same kind of illustration like what's on the front of the box there. On the front, on the back side, we've got parts list and order form if you need to order replacement runners or whatever. So you've got that. So we've got just a few runners on there, it looks like, and some water slide decals as well too. So we'll take a look at all of that. Here is our construction for Hisone. Like I said, just a few parts there for her. You'll have massive seam lines there as it's just the front and back half of the body, it looks like. And here for Masotan. Now, as you can see, the instructions all in color. It's pretty simple. That looks very nice putting the, together the last stages of that. And on the opposite side, inside here, you got some more photographs of what the kits look like all painted up and what is basically your color guide over here or a decal guide, I guess, sorry, that's pointing out where all the decals go. All right, so here is the water slide decal sheet. As you can see, you got the big eye decals for the dragon and for Hisone, so lots of extras there in case you mess those up. Great for someone like me who's really terrible at painting small scale eyes like that, so really, really nice to have those decals to use. And then a couple of little marking decals and the big Japan logo decals there for uh, Masutan. Here is our A runner in this really nice kind of dark, slightly violet blue kind of color. Dark kind of grayish navy blue, slightly purplish kind of blue. Looks really nice. And then our B and C runners here, which are joined together, are some of the main large parts for the wings and the body. Runner D is in this light gray color, so some of the armor parts there for Masutan. And runner E would be the remainder of all of those parts. 
And then like I said, runner F is all of our parts here for um, Hyusone. So obviously these kits are not entirely snap build kits. I believe most of the kits can be built without glue, but you're gonna wanna use glue. You're gonna have to use glue certainly for some of the parts. And you're obviously gonna have to paint, especially for that character figure being that it's entirely molded just in skin tone. But let me go ahead and get to work on this and then I'll show you guys how it turns out. All right guys, and here is how the set looks all together. It is, it was a lot of fun. I just uh, built this up and painted it up, you know, fairly simply, and I didn't really do any sort of like customiz customization or anything really, except for just, you know, obviously there's a lot of seamline removal to do on some of the parts, but uh, this was just kind of a fun, just simple side project to paint up. And it's not perfect, it's not my cleanest work ever, but I had a lot of fun doing it. I really enjoy working on these kits. And this one as well, obviously it's very unique. Uh, like uh, the, the figure itself is very basic. Uh, again, just lots of seam lines on that, just basically two halves of the body. And then you've just got big seam lines down the side. But Master Town was a lot of fun just because of it's such a weird thing, right? And so, yeah, for the most part, I went basically with the original colors for everything, just tweaked slightly. Uh, Master Town, I made a little bit more kind of bluish, purplish, uh, and a little bit darker, I think, probably. And also the like a mechanical parts, the light gray parts, I also made a little bit darker. I did a little bit of appreciated look uh, on those parts, so I made them a little bit darker and a little bit shaded uh, to give them kind of more of a little bit sort of realistic aircraft kind of feel to them, I guess. But I still wanted this to basically ultimately kind of stick pretty true to the anime style of it, so I didn't want to like try to make everything too super realistic or anything. I wanted to stick with the uh, very like cartoony look of everything. And so that's why just the colors are just tweaked a little bit. Um, the suit, the green suit that she's got on is a little bit different color green. Uh, the main skin color of the dragon is a little bit different. The yellow is a little bit different kind of tone of yellow for that. But uh, like I said, it's all like pretty original to what it's supposed to look like. And in order to do some of the seam line removal, there was some modification that had to be done like on the wing parts because like the gray parts are kind of uh, clamped on top of the just dragon wing parts underneath. So I just had basically kind of have to cut some parts on the inside of there for those parts to be able to fit on once the seam line was removed on that. But fairly simple process overall. If you were planning on getting this kit, I mean, just keep in mind that there's going to be a little bit of work just removing the seam lines on it. But uh, it's a very fun kit to work on, I think, just because it is so different. Aside from the painting, like I said, which was pretty straightforward, then after that, there's really only a couple of decals to put on. Again, I thought about adding a lot more decals onto, like, the mechanical bits. Uh, but, and then I thought, you know, again, I'm just going to stick with the, with the kind of original look for this as much as possible, not go super realistic with it. I use all the decals there are to use. So like there's a, a, a number of decals that go on the suit on Hisone. That's just for like different markings and stuff. And then obviously just the big Japan uh, flag markings around on Masotan. But other than that, yeah, there's not a ton of decals to do on there. There wasn't even that much like panel lining and stuff to do. Uh, on those mechanical bits, so fairly easy. The skin tone for uh, Hisone, I did not paint that, that's just the plastic. I did do some like shading on the skin tone though, so I basically just used the Mr. Color Lashvis paints, I think it's like clear pale red. I just basically used that to do a little bit of shading on the skin tone, but yeah, that's the only parts that are unpainted, it's just the skin tone parts for her face, neck, and hands. But overall guys, the main point of this video was just to kind of showcase the uh, Minimum Factory line in general once again to you guys, because like I said, I do really like the line a lot, and I highly recommend it for you guys if you're in the market for building something up, kind of smaller, 120 scale. Uh, but if you're not sure about taking the leap uh, into trying out something that's in resin, because resin can be, you know, it's different to work with than plastic. I don't want to say it's more difficult, but it's different if you're used to working with plastic. Uh, and also, it can be more expensive as well too, but if you're looking to try something different and not quite ready to try resin yet, this is something that I think is could be very appealing. Uh, to you guys because it's basically the same thing except that you have more seam lines and it's just working with plastic which is just going to be more comfortable for most people uh, if you're used to you know building mecha and stuff like that most of the time. So while this one is pretty unique, most of the Minimum Factory line, of course, is just kind of uh, different female characters and stuff from different games or anime and things like that. This one as well too, but this is probably one of the more unique ones because of the fact that it comes with Masotan in there as well, who's a like a fighter jet dragon hybrid kind of thing. Whichever kit in the line you do find to be most appealing for you, again, I'll just recommend you to 
pick one up and try one at some point. They're a lot of fun. So uh, let me know what you think about this kit. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about my paint job on the kit? Again, like I said, it's pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward, but uh, I had a lot of fun working on this. So I do plan on making some sort of base for them as well too. I haven't sorted that out yet, but uh, when I do, I'll post some pictures or something like that and show you guys later on. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for checking out the video, liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all that is greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.